on this IP. And, and yeah, so essentially what always install elevated allows us to do is that it allows us to execute MSI files, right? Dot MSI files in a context of system. Um, so yeah. Because of this uh, write, we will essentially be able to execute it under system context, right? And get a privesk. So always install. And I have it in my notes. So we can make a MSI file like so. And you can specify the interface like so. If you don't want to write the IP, over 442 is fine. Let's make that. Awesome. Reverse MSI. Let's see. My IP currently is... <laughs> 10.02.11. Okay. So let me set up a, a web server so we can transfer the file. Go back to the shell. Wget, use basic parsing. Um, 10.02.11, reverse MSI. Output as reverse MSI, like so. And we see that this get request was valid, 200. So now, who am I, ADS? We can just execute it like so. You see the little loading bar? I forgot to set up a shell because I am silly. Uh, let's see. Let's try it again. <laughs> And there we go, right? So, so, who am I? I'm on the authority system. Awesome. So, what do we do now? Always what I want to do from these scenarios is to dump all the hashes, right, on the system. Dump as much as I can. And always what I prefer to do is using NetExec whenever I can, because it's just really, really stable and reliable, and I really like it. It allows you to remotely do it. Sometimes you're able to dump hashes as well and not trigger AV, depending on the system. So... It's very, very, very awesome. So, but we don't have the credential for system use, right? So, what we can do is just make the user that we're currently running as ADS into a local admin. So you can do net local group administrators like so, ADS flash add net local group added successfully. So let me just add this to my notes. Log into client two with ADS. Found a always install elevated privest. Then added ADS to local admin to dump hashes with netexec easily. All right, so we can just kill the shell. It's going to be easy enough to get a new one, right? We just do this and we retrigger it if we want to. But yeah. So let me kill the shell. And then we can essentially now do netexec SMP. And the user is going to be ADS. And the password was. Let's see what the password was again. Peru123 punctuation mark. And let's see what happens now. So we can see now it says pond, right? Because it's now local admin. <clears throat> so we can just specify the right IP where we're local admin on the client two. And then now we can do stump hashes. So we can start with some hashes. These are going to be the local hashes on the system. But this is not the domain admin. This is just a local admin, right? But we already have a local admin now, which is ADS. Uh, so not as interesting. We see Julia, for instance, and we see some default useless accounts. Um, you can also do users for fun. And you can see the last password set. You can see it never, never, never. So to some extent, you know that these are disabled accounts. At least I think so. But yeah. So the hashes we actually want to dump. So if you go to 
write something like dash dash sam, you're going to find this page, uh, remote hash dump, dump all hashes remotely, right? So this is what we just did, sam. Now we want to dump LSS and we also want to dump LSA hashes, okay? We always want to dump all these, these hashes when we can. Uh, we can't dump NTDS dit because we can only do this on the domain controller itself. And this is client too, right? So something to keep in mind, but yeah, we definitely want to dump all hashes. So let's use this next. The dump LSS. <clears throat> so it currently dumps our own users, right? And gives us an empty hash. So this is most likely all that we're going to get when it comes to LSS. But again, we're not done. We want to dump all the hashes we can. So we want to dump some uh, LSA as well. Because LSA specifically can give us cache domain credentials, which can be extremely interesting. So it's most likely going to output the same, even though it's a different module, does the same thing. So now we want to do dash dash LSA. <clears throat> and there we go. So we can see right here that we're able to dump several domain users. These are not local, right? You see the domain, hacker with local administrator, hacker with local ADS, J Bailey, Al Foster, right? And then some more useless stuff. But this is really, really, really awesome. Now you can't relay these hashes. You can't do pass the hash with these hashes. These are MSS, um, let's see, MS cache hashes, I believe. Yeah, MS cache hashes. And you can crack them like so. But um, let me run this to essentially give a cleaner output. There we go. So these are all the domain users specifically that we want to uh, target. And this is how you would crack it specifically. Okay. So this format is fine for John to be able to crack. So yeah, let me run this. And this is going to take a while and we will see what we're able to crack or not crack. And yeah, I'll get right back to you. Now, if you enjoy how I teach and you enjoy this video and you want to take the OCP, then what are you doing not being in this course? It's over 15 hours long and it covers everything that you need. If you're only watching the videos on YouTube, you're missing out a lot because it's over 15 hours of content. You will get access to the VIP section on Discord where you can ask me any questions and you can study alongside all the other students in our course right now. You will also get access to this checklist right here, which will cover at least 95% plus of all the attacks and all the techniques that you need to know for every single section. Not only initial access, but AD, pivoting, Linux, and Windows privilege escalation. And the goal for you is to reach proficient or at least basic competence on all of them. That's one of the things. We also have this entire roadmap right here, where there's a bunch of action steps and a bunch of cheat sheets inside all of these hyperlinks that I can't show you in this video. But once you have completed all of them, you know for a fact that you will be ready to get into the OCP exams and absolutely crush it. If that sounds interesting to you, to get all of this in 15 hour plus of <laughs> video footage from someone who has OCP, who explains different attacks and techniques and methodologies, it's going to be invaluable to you. Now, some people are confused what they offer. If you're interested in the notes, these are the notes that you will constantly see me use in the videos, right? They're pretty much recommended to go hand in hand with the course, and I use them constantly in the course itself, right? So I think you'll find it extremely useful. That's also why we have the third offer, which is the bundle, where you can buy both of these together for a discount. I hope that clarifies things. Best of luck on your OCP journey. I really hope this will be massively useful to you. I'll see you in the next video.